What's up guys? We are at Montreat. And we're gonna hit the Greybeard Trail today. Let's show you all the info up here. Boogs is down here ready to go. But here you go. Trailhead. We're gonna hit this trail, see if we can make it to the top. We haven't allotted an amount of time because Heather's gonna be back to pick us up and I don't want her down here waiting for us at the trailhead forever. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys. So we started. Got Boog's leash right here. And we're off. This trail goes from Montreat to Greybeard Mountain, obviously. I think it's about five miles, 5.46, something like that maybe. So we probably won't make it to the top because in those five miles is a 2,000 feet elevation gain. Going from 3,000 to 5,000 feet. We'll see what we can do though. Books. This trail is pretty awesome though. I've only hiked it two other times. I've never been all the way to the top. Heather and I used to come here and just mess around. There's trails all over the place, so we would hit the trails surrounding it and kind of come back on this one. So we've never actually gone to the top. Sure is a pretty trail though. It is hot today. I think I saw the high was 84. It's a good thing we're in the canopy right now. It's burning up in the car. Nice day for a hike. A hot day, but a nice day. I really wanted to go on it overnight tonight. Still waiting on that one, but uh, I got a meeting at eight o'clock in the morning. I gotta be at. Don't wanna risk being late to that. I'll be about to get bright for a second, guys. Maybe not too bad. Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me. Hear that river, guys? I think we're gonna cross that thing a few times. In my last few videos, I've been horrible at uh, showing you what gear I have. And uh, that's because I get so caught up in exploring that it's hard for me to stop, take a second, the last trip, I stopped to take a second and a couple of people lied to me and put me on the move again. Then I never really stopped again from there. Yeah, it's pretty gorgeous up here though. Bro, come here. Check that out guys. So pretty up here. That coming all the way down through here. Sure is pretty. I'm starting to sweat pretty good. No, it wouldn't take too long.
and we are following the blue blazes. This place is known for copperheads and rattlesnakes, black bears. Get really, really watch where you're going. Pay attention to everything that's going on. River needs a bathroom break. I think I'll just keep going. My old dog Rock, his name is Rocky. Had him since I was like uh, 18 years old. He passed away last August, 15 years old. And uh, man, Ruger's my best friend, but Rocky was, me and him went through a lot together. A lot. A lot of hiking, a lot of camping, a lot of moving, a lot of different people. I still miss him every day, but uh, anyway, he used to stop take a bathroom break on the trail, and I keep going. He completely stopped using the bathroom just so he could get back ahead of me. Always had to be leading the trail. Best dog I ever had, though. Don't ever think I have another one like him. Oh yeah, getting hot fast. Can't imagine if we were out in the sun. If we make it to the top, it'd be nice to feel the temperature difference. We're going that way. Take a look at these signs. It's actually pretty cool. A nice warning and it's not hunting season so we don't have to worry about that one but I did want to show you this one my father-in-law Heather's dad took uh, I'll show you when we get up here he carried a plaque up here a long time ago and drilled this plaque to the rock and it's in honor of that guy back there but this plaque weighed like a hundred and something pounds and he packed it up here at least a thousand feet elevation gain but he was known for doing crazy stuff like that I guess that's why he's hurting so bad now he once carried three or four salt blocks up in the Linville Gorge I don't know how many of y'all know Linville Gorge but from Wolf Pit up and that's crazy but I'll show you it's black when we get up here Roof. a video about the uh, reservoir what I had I made a video about an Optimus crux stove and a uh, a cold Avenger balaclava and iMovie ate it so I had made that before my last video which is why I said I'm glad I got the splatter. So I just picked it up. I got an Amazon.com gift card for Christmas. And I waited on now to spend it. I'm like that, I have to research everything that I get. 
make sure what I get is with something I need, something I want, something I'm going to use. I'm sure most of y'all are the same way. This will be flying on the way back down. There's a shelter up here you can get a permit to stay at. I think I'm going to add that within the next couple of months, two or three months. I'm going to hike up here, hit that shelter, come back on the parkway, hit the mountain to see, take it all the way back home. Be a nice trip. Nice two day trip. Might be a little bit more than that, I don't know. But I know the mountain to see comes straight down, so. I met the nicest people on this trail today. I'm not used to meeting people on the trail because usually hiking where many people don't go, but this is a popular one. And everybody that I've met has been so nice. The way people are supposed to be. All right. You can see how far up we're up here. There's the plaque that he brought. Probably doesn't look like much, but that thing is a monster. And I've got pretty big hands, guys. Could you imagine carrying that all the way up here? Pretty awesome, though. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. My help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. All right, all right. But could you imagine carrying that up here? I am sweating to death. Carrying up my 24, 25 pound pack. Could not imagine carrying a 100 pound plaque. Or more, I mean, you saw that thing again, guys. All right, what's up, guys? Stopping, taking a break. We've been hiking for about two hours. Non-stop, pretty much. We had to stop and get my breath. Burger had to stop and play. But, uh... We've made it a pretty good ways. I'm kind of hoping we'll make it to the shelter. I don't know if we will or not. But I'm kind of hoping we do. I've seen a lot of people. Everybody's been really nice. We have definitely seen a lot of people. I mean, my standards of a lot are like two or three, but we've seen 10 probably. I guess that tells you what kind of day it is today. And the light shining through the canopy everywhere, I keep seeing great, great light. It's pretty amazing. Ruger wants to be in the shot. You want to be in the shot? Do you? Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. We're both probably getting pretty hungry. Ruger ate before we came. I haven't had much to eat today. A smoothie and a bunch of water. Probably not too good for me. Once we get up here to the falls, we will eat something. But we're almost as far as I've ever been on Greybeard Trail. Heather and I always go to the trail surrounding Greybeard and then always connect to the gray beard and take it back down to the trailhead. But uh, we've never actually been too far on it. We had planned to do an overnight like I was talking about earlier, but uh, we haven't gotten around to it. Too busy having kids. But uh, hopefully I'll get to that within the next couple of months. I'd like to take this up to the shelter and at least take it all the way to the top and then hike around a little bit up there and then come back down or hike up to the shelter, stay the night, like I said before, and then hit the mountain to see trough off the parkway, come back down straight to home. Way Heather could just drop me off up here and then I could just head home. Big old loop. But uh, hopefully we'll get to that soon. Talk to those people down there. They said they had seen a big old black snake. They turned around because uh, the guy's girlfriend was scared of the snakes. This is known up here for snakes, so 
If you want to find some, this is where you come. But yeah, it is a gorgeous day. And I'm glad y'all could come with me. I love taking y'all with me on these trips. It's fun. I'm sure these people on the trail think I'm crazy talking to my camera. I was telling Heather the other day that I was too busy talking to my camera to see something. I guess that's an airplane. Kind of hard to hear anything over the creek. But I guess I should get moving again. We're going to try to make it to that shelter. I need to get moving. So let's do that. What's up guys? I put y'all down for a little while. Cause I've been going straight up. And y'all wouldn't have liked listening to me puff and puff while I was trying to make it up here. But we are at the relocated graveyard trail, whatever that means. I guess they rerouted it some way. But We are still going, and I'll take y'all with me. It's not as steep, so steep, not nearly as steep. And I have no idea how far the shelter is. I don't know. I don't think it's at the top of Greybeard. I think it's like, you know, I really have no idea. I looked it up, and I knew, but I forget everything. My brain is mush, so I don't remember how far up this trail it is. All right, here we go straight up again. What do you think, Boo? What do you think, buddy? Man, we have done a crazy elevation gain. Crazy. All right, guys, we have made it somewhere, and I see a campsite over there, and I have no idea where that goes, but Greybeard Mountain is this way, as you can see from the sign over here. So now we've got another place to explore over that way. we got what looks like a little campsite over there. I think camping is permitted, or not permitted, Except at the shelter and you have to have a permit to do that. So, I'm not too sure about that little campsite. But it is kind of nice to be on flat ground for a minute. That was rough. I'm telling you. Oh yeah. Ruger! Check that out guys. I'm not sure how much y'all can see, but that is gorgeous out there. It's not like being here, but it's pretty close. Ruger! 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 See, he fools me. He like goes straight off the mountain. I think he's down there, so I'll wait. And then I call him and he comes running from way down the trail. Like, where did you go? He's got superpowers. He's flying off the ridge and flying all the way around and then coming back. You know, and I wish I'd been doing this kind of video longer. I should have been taking you out on all my adventures. But I do have a blog, an adventure blog that Dax Bates back for quite a while. It said, uh, squirrelsneststudios.com pretty cool blog check it out if you got the time new baby's right around the corner 
wife's due October 7th. October 7th or October 11th. I think they flip flop back and forth deciding between the two, but it's a gorgeous rock right there. All that water. Ruger. Look at that view, guys. Oh, man. How gorgeous is that? It's hard to beat the Appalachian Mountains. I don't care what you say. That is gorgeous. I say it all the time. The mountains are the prettiest in the world. And they always will be no matter what mountains I see. Pretty awesome, y'all see the dripping? I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It'd be a good place to fill a water bottle. If you had a while. Dripping right over here too. Pretty awesome. All right guys, we've got about 25 minutes before we gotta turn around. I had to stop and look at my watch. So, if we don't see that shelter in about 25 minutes, I'm gonna have to turn around, we're gonna miss it. Hopefully we're not, cause we've gone a long way. So I'm starting to think that my 5.46 miles was wrong. But, um, cause I feel like we've at least gone five miles. Maybe it's right up around the corner. I don't know. Uh, we're gonna find out if it's right around the corner, but if it's any further than that, we're gonna have to turn around because I really don't want Heather to be down there waiting for us at the trailhead. But let me throw this pack back on, we'll get moving again. I need something to eat. Hopefully we'll find that shelter real soon. It's a big old wasp. Hopefully we'll find the shelter really soon because I'd really like to put something in my stomach before I'm on my way back down. But we'll see. Be right back, guys. Found a place and I need to stop and eat and then we gotta head back. So uh and I forgot my try little tripod, so I'm gonna keep y'all here on the monopod. Ruggy wants my chocolate bar. But uh this is one of those fifth builder bars. I think it's 20 grams of protein. So we didn't get to the top, but that just means we'll have to come back. Sure, it's pretty up here though. Awesome rocks, big rock formations, cool breeze. It's the sun. When I get home tonight, I promise I'm gonna do a video of uh, our loadout today, even though we didn't use much. Like I said, once I get going, it's hard for me to stop and talk about gear because I really want to get where I'm going. I want to see as much as I possibly can. But I really love that bladder, man. That bladder is awesome. I love not having to stop and take my back off every time I want to drink. And I was going to make some coffee up here. Like I said, I ran out of time. Pretty soon this winter, for sure, I'll have more more time, so I'll be able to do longer video. I don't know if y'all like that sort of thing or not. My main videos are already like 40 minutes.
But I'll bring y'all back as soon as I get to the bottom of the mountain. Unless I see something between here and there. I think y'all might like. Then I'll bring it back sooner. All right, guys. See you soon. All right, guys. Here's that campsite we passed a while back. It's a pretty nice site. Might have to come up here. And spend the night. Got a nice little the creek's running right beside here. And on up through there. Pretty picturesque. We'll definitely have to come check that out. And here's a trail right here. I don't know where that goes. See, there's so much exploring to do. Not nearly enough time. There's a nice trail leading down this way, which Ruger wants to go follow. Ruger! See, there it goes. There it goes down through there. Yeah. Too much exploring to do. I'll bring y'all back. guys we are back I didn't keep y'all with me there I like uphill better than downhill I think so it kind of hurts me to go downhill my knees are kind of weak but we are back made it safe and sound both a little tired a little sweaty and we beat Heather here so and it's definitely hotter down here than it was up there I got no breeze so it was nice to be up there I'm glad we got to get out today I'm glad I got to take y'all with me um, stay tuned I'll have a post video talk about some of the things I didn't talk about in the video show you some of the gear I had and I promise I'm actually going to do it this time and we'll get that taken care of maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow but like I said I'll try to get that video done tonight, maybe tomorrow night and then I'll post it within the next day or so so be on the lookout for that after you watch this and I hope you enjoyed our trip today um, check back with us again hopefully I'll be doing this once a week until winter and then maybe I'll do it, be doing it more I could talk but uh yeah i'm glad to be doing this kind of video so i hope you are glad i'm doing it too so come back we'll see you next time take care when the locals heard the news that day their blood began to boil they decided the only good colored man was down beneath the soul so if they hated money they began to conspire Soon in Birmingham the air was thick